Hey guys, this is Lego Freak 518 signing in, and today I'll be showing you a new video. Um, I'm sorry guys that I haven't been doing videos in a while. I've been working on another channel with a friend and just never had the time. But this is a uh, a front drive, fully independent suspension piece that took me about an hour to make because I had to find and do this. Um, I had to figure how to do this because. Um, I found a tutorial, but he had bigger arms, so I had to do this, um, a different way. And, yeah, I finally got it. I finally got it! And it actually turns now. It's straight. It's straight tires. So, um, yeah, as I said, it has full suspension. There are A-arms that... And, um, it has turning, so, um, yeah, it has independent suspension. The other shocks were too loose because this thing is so massive. Um, fully independent suspension, I said that, like, four times now. And it has return to center steering with a rubber band design I've used on the last few vehicles. It's what I use on most of my vehicles now, unless they're two-wheel drive. But two-wheel drive kind of just sucks. It doesn't have a very far turn because uh, this only has one stud to go before it hits the bar. Because that's how, that's, I had to do that. Or the, the wheel wouldn't be straight. It would be at a, it would be at an angle like that. It would be at an angle like that if I did it. So I couldn't do it that way. I had to do it this way. But it, it's, the only problem I see is it's, it's sort of loose. But, um, I can fix that pretty easily. It's just, that's the problem. It's just loose. And it's going to be going this way. Just because this side is just so full of stuff. And it does turn. I have to switch this side onto this side because at first it was going to be that side. But it does move with suspension. And it does turn. with this suspension done. So my accomplishment has been a success. success. And yeah guys, I've been just working on this like all morning. I started at like 9 and 30 and it's like it's like um let me check. We went to Rite Aid, so it's been about 2 hours. It's only 10 o'clock. I'm just joking, guys. It's not 10 o'clock. It is. It is 11.34. Or, did that say 34? No, it said 56. 11.56. Eh, good. This camera. But yeah, guys, I'm really happy with this. Uh, my friend couldn't bring these pieces over. Those pieces, because I had to use... Instead of using all four of them, I used one, which makes it longer, and it's better. And, um, what that does is it just makes it farther out because these are like that, and, uh, so I need a, two more of those, one on each side for the back suspension, but since he can't give those to me today, I want to finish this car, and, uh, I might do child truck suspension, I don't know, I might use these. I don't know, I'm thinking of just, just an arm, an arm going up and down, but I want something independent, and this is independent when it goes up, so I might try that, I don't know, but, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, this is Lego Freak 518 signing out, um, please check out my other channel, it's called On Wheels, um, or you can type in On Wheels 476. Or you can just type in Lego Freak 518 and it'll, it's pretty, pretty sure I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But thanks for watching guys, please comment, subscribe, and leave a like. Please comment on, um, ways I can make this better. And the chassis is going to go like that. 
it's going to connect like that. I'm going to connect it to this bar right here. So thanks for watching, guys. Oh.